As KPRC2 investigates first reported at 5 o'clock, 14 commanders have been contacted by HPD's internal affairs investigators since Houstonians learned HPD had suspended 4,000 adult sexual assault crimes investigations before they were fully investigated. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz is investigating the story again tonight. And Mario, there are new questions today from HPD's union concerning the police chief and what's been asked of him. Candace, questions and claims made from HPD's union directly to the leadership that oversees HPD's internal affairs. So far, this investigation is one-sided. HPD's union not missing words, as the president of the organization that represents the rank and file says the internal affairs investigation being conducted by HPD into the suspended investigations scandal is carefully not going after top-tier leadership. It has to be a fair and impartial investigation, which is hard to do without a statement from the chief or the EACs involved. The union sending this letter today to the HPD commander over internal affairs, stating that allegations made by Chief Finner and his former senior executive command staff are, quote, inaccurate and at worst, materially false or misleading. What steps did you take in 2021 to investigate these cases that had been suspended? That's part of the investigation. It was back in February that KPRC2 Investigates started asking pointed questions to the department. One being, how can IAD properly investigate the chief if he can direct IAD the way he wants to? We don't believe that an internal investigation should be conducted by our IAD process. They cannot ask the chief questions unless he is relieved of duty or no longer the chief. So we're never going to get to the bottom of what actually took place if we can't in interrogate the chief. Now, Chief Finner has not made any announcements as to when he will be having his next news conference, alerting the public and informing the public, giving them an update regarding the scandal that has impacted his department. Now, keep in mind, this is all coming at the same time that you have the mayor's independent panel carefully monitoring all of this or all of these investigations. Live downtown, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.